Okay, now what we're going to be doing here is testing two sets of transistors here, two pairs. First thing we're going to do is we're going to show you the HFE readings from these transistors on this basic um, electronic test multi-tester. A typical example of many of the ones that people own uh, test currents, voltages, resistance, diode checks, various other things and of course it does have a socket for testing HFE on transistors. This one I have adapted slightly with some little pins there on the, on the socket because the uh, the actual socket isn't really suitable for TO220 style transistors so I've adapted this one so it makes it much easier than for, to plug in them in and out uh, so we can test them a bit easier. Now what we have here is we have a pair of two SC2312 transistors. One is a fake Mitsubishi, the other one is an Elaflow Technologies replacement because we don't have a genuine Mitsubishi. Very, very difficult to get hold of, been obsolete for years. Next to it we have a fake Mitsubishi 2SC1969 and next to it the Elaflow Technologies replacement 2SC1969. Now we're going to test them for HFE in this meter. And over here, we're going to test them for RF power in this 4 watt European FM transceiver, which is set to 27185 megs. And now you will see why it is. So many people are fooled into thinking that their transistors are good when they test them for HFE on a meter like this. But then when they install them in their radio, they do not work and they cannot figure out why. Right, okay, so the first transistor we're going to test here is the fake Mitsubishi 2SC2312. Most of the ones that are for sale now are these on the internet, especially on eBay. So, you know, be careful, you've been warned enough times. The first thing we're going to do is take this transistor over here and uh, plug it into our little improvised socket like so. In she goes. And we'll turn on our test meter. And as you can see there, we have an HFE of about 138, 137, 138 with our fake transistor. And we'll turn that off. We're going to take the transistor now. So that's very good, very good HFE, very high there. Will definitely impress some people, no doubt. But now we're going to take it over here to our test radio. Plug it into our socket there. In she goes. And now we're going to have a look and see how this fantastic high reading HFE transistor produces. Nothing. Oh dear, well, that's not good is it? On the Revex meter there, get a bit of a shot of the meter. The needle just fractionally moves on the 20 watt scale. Hardly anything at all. So there we are, now let's take that one out. That's the, uh, that is of course got red hot for the simple reason it has no efficiency at all. All it's doing is burning up all the energy as heat and it's not converting it into any kind of RF current at all. So now we'll take our Elaflow replacement one. We'll now come over to the, uh, the meter here and we'll plug this one in to our little test socket. It's a bit fiddly. There you go. It should be in. It should be in, there it is, in she goes. Let's have a look, see what HFE we have. We have 87. Now that of course is much less than the fake. However, it does fall well within the typical HFE spec for a 2SC2312 transistor. Uh, so uh, there's no problem there, I've got no problem with that at all. We'll now take our Elaflow replacement here. Now over to the uh, transceiver, and of course if those uh, HFE people would imagine that this transistor would not produce much power because the other one was producing nothing, and I mean that had a really high HFE, so let's have a look at this one. Well there we go, look at that. Now we have some power, let's look on the Revex. And there we have, in actual fact, dead on 4 watts there nearly which is what I would expect to see this transistor producing in this 4 watt radio. You've got to remember it's only an FM, it's not an SSB radio. So there we go, let's take that transistor out. So there we have our uh, 
Elaflow 2312 and the fake Mitsubishi 2312 and you can clearly see why you can't take any notice of HFE to guarantee the transistor will work in a radio. Okay, now this time we're going to be testing the uh, fake Mitsubishi 2SC1969 transistor, there it is. Of course, looks exactly the same as the 2312, just says uh, different marking on it, that's all, but the usual, the usual typical fake. So over here to our little uh, multi-tester, in the socket she goes, uh, we'll switch it on. And we have an HFE of 156, 157. So there we go. Another high HFE reading. Take that out. Go over to our uh, radio here. Switch the transistor around, of course. And make sure we've got it in the, uh, the right way around. And the socket it goes. Over to our radio. I'll transmit. We've got two bars there on the meter, just two bars. Over on the Revex meter, we have a view there. Not quite a watt on the RF scale. We'll flick that down to a two watt scale, you get a better view there. And there it is. It is just over a watt. And as I key there, you can see the power dropping. So that's not good at all. So let's take this out. Oh, red hot. Again, no efficiency. So now we'll take our Elaflow replacement 1969 over here to the socket. Plug it in. There she goes. Turn it on. We have an HFE of 96, again falls well within the typical HFE of a 1969 transistor. And we'll take that out, over to our radio, plug it in the socket, there she goes, have a look, and there we are, five bars straight away on the radio, over here. Off the scale, of course we're two on the 2 watt scale, still on there, over to 20 watts, and there we are. Just a fraction over 4 watts. Exactly what I should be doing. So there you are. Take that transistor out there, put it down there. So there you have a reason why so many people test transistors on these typical transistor testers, HFE. They think, well, it's got very good HFE, it has a junction. Why doesn't it work in my radio? Now, many are fooled into believing that they have another fault with their transceiver and they start looking for other faults, which in the end completely confuse them because there is no other fault. It's just this fake transistors that they're using.